Hello, dear educators, and welcome to Mentoring the Mentors. This is Vinakshi Narula, and I want to share with you something related to the skill modules that we can offer at middle schools. I mean, to our middle school students studying in classes 6th, 7th, and 8th. So in any of the classes, they can opt for the given skill subject. So there are certain guidelines for it. Let us go through all the guidelines. So my dear educators, like as it is mentioned, introduction of the skill modules modules for the middle school students under NEP 2020 because we want our students to learn some of the skills, some of the vocations, and they'll be learning at least one and will be, uh, you see, exposed to even more than one skill courses as well. So there is a list of around 33 skill-based courses, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, I have highlighted two because we have uh, started these two skill courses in our school too. So you can choose maybe one or more than one courses out of given these 33 courses. So these courses are not more than 12 to 15 hours, right? So you can easily complete the given course in 20 to 15 hours. So likewise, you should start one course at a time. After completion of the one course, your students can opt for more courses as well. So you are free to choose. For that, you need not to take any other permission from CBSE. You need not to pay any other amount to CBSE if you want to go ahead with the skill-based courses. We will be discussing all the points that are highlighted in the circular only. So my dear educators, as you can see, now there are 33 courses. You can opt for two, three, four, five as per the availability of the teachers with you. For that, you can either recruit new staff or your existing staff if it is uh, like good at any of the arts or any of the subjects. So you can go ahead with that also. So there are a few points. See, here is mass media and mass media being media literate. There are two kinds of courses and this is a new course being media literate. We have started this course. So because I'm recording it for my teachers too, so they'll also get to know about all these details. So the following may be noted with regard to the courses is first point is the skill modules are only 12 to 15 hours of duration that I have already shared with you. The entire year you don't have to spend on these courses. And out of these 12 to 15 hours, 70% of the time duration must be devoted to hands-on activity, practical experience, and only 30% for theory, right? So my dear educators, if we go ahead, now there are a number of options also, like when you can conduct these skill-based courses. Number one, you can use your bagless days uh, to complete these courses. You know very well, we have 10 to 12 bagless days in a year. If you wanna use those bagless days for these skill-based courses, wonderful, you can go ahead with that. If you want to conduct these courses during winter break, autumn break, summer break, or as and when you want, you have got sufficient time, you can conduct it during that time also. During summers, during winters, if you are organizing any camps uh, in your school, then also you can go ahead with such kinds of hobby classes or maybe vocational courses, or you may call it as skill-based education or skill-based courses. Or you can have the same as a regular period for selective skill modules also, as we have put the same in the timetable, right? Because you see timetable is always flexible. We keep on changing it. At present, we have it. We have given a fixed time in the timetable so that according to the timetable, we can have classes for artificial intelligence. We can have classes for uh, mass media or media literacy as well as per the choice of the student. So we can go ahead with that. Now, irrespective of the class, now, next previous point is schools and the students, they are free to opt any skill modules in the classes 6th, 7th, and 8th. You can have the same courses in 6th, 7th, 8th. You can have different courses in 6th, 7th, and 8th. That is entirely your choice. And irrespective of the class, students opting for any skill module shall have to start from the first module. Like, for example, if you have started with a mass media or media literacy or artificial intelligence or any other skill-based course. 
So it should not happen like your classic students, they are learning from the first module and your seventh uh, students, they are learning from third module or maybe your eighth student, they are learning from fifth or sixth module. And then when they are going to start the skill, they have to start it from the module one, irrespective of the class they are studying in, right? So I hope it is very, very clear to you. And the students, they are free to opt more than one skill module as well in a class or maybe an academic session, right? If the students, uh, they want to study uh, artificial intelligence, media literacy, and apart from it, you want to go for baking, cooking, or whatever. So they can go for that also, but they have to study one at a time. Simultaneously, you should not start both the courses, Right, but may not be encouraged to do more than one skill module simultaneously, it should be one by one. Right, so this is very important to be noted. And the school may hire trained teachers for that, or maybe existing teachers can be deputed for these modules if they are already trained, or uh, you can just scaffold them a little to go ahead with the courses. Now, how will we taking the assessment? It is very clearly mentioned like 35 marks out of total marks will be 50 marks. 15 marks for the theory and 35 for the practical because 70% of the weightage is given to the practical, right? And uh, assessment, what are the guidelines for it? Criteria, modalities that will be provided by CBSE shortly. assessment bhi lelenge, right? So, and apart from it, if uh, you want to conduct these courses during your hobby classes, in our schools, we have our hobby classes, our activity clubs also. So, for your middle school students, you can have such hobby classes, innovation clubs, skill clubs, etc. So, likewise, you can have more than one club at a time. So, that is a wonderful idea. Please make sure you go through it. If your teachers, they are trained enough, you can go ahead and share such clubs with your students right and uh, schools can offer skill modules even through hubs of learning you see hol hubs of learning are there on cbse websites if your schools want to go ahead with hubs of learning they want to train the students under that so they can go ahead with that also you can provide such kind of information uh, learning to your students and what we have to do is Whatever we are doing, we have to intimate it to CBSE. We have to provide the information. Like there are so many students in our school and they are completing. They are they have started. They have enrolled in the given skill-based courses. The, here is the link. If you click on this link, you will be able to land on a page where you will be able to enter all the details related to the given students for given subjects. Who is the mentor? How many students are there? And you will be able to download certificates also for the students after they complete the given course. This is how you can go ahead with that. So make sure you enroll your students on the given link. And after the completion of 12 to 15 hours of the training, and then you will be able to download certificates as well. Assessment scheme will be shared with you by CBSE very soon. So my dear educators, now here is the link. Uh, cbseacademic.nic.in skill education books are there. So you have to download the books from the given link and you can use the same uh, to transect the curriculum in your classes as it is being shared by CBSE skill department. So my dear educators, here you go. Uh, I'll show you one thing more. See, when you will click on that, skill education level 6, 7th, and 8th, the user manual given to us. While after clicking on the link, you will land on this page, right? When you click on user manual, you will be able to download this very manual that I am showing you on the screen. Okay, when you will click on subject master, uh, who will be the subject master, what all subjects you are uh, opting for, artificial intelligence, whatever you have to select from that manual and then student registration you need to register your students you need to add the courses you need to update the result uh, after assessment and you will be able to generate certificates for your students so make sure you give this opportunity to your students okay you may talk to your teachers if they are good at certain skills you can start such courses uh, more number of courses more innovation more variety to be provided to the students right so here you go you have to log in with your uh, affiliation number and the given password and then you will be able to land on the subject master 
So here is the student's name, class, gender, school admission number. And this is how you will be able to upload their information, right? So this is how you can do it for 6th, 7th, and 8th. And after that, you can add it also if it is required, like you have, by mistake, you have entered a wrong admission number or whatever, you can edit it also, right? You can make modifications also. You have to add the courses also, right? For example, class six, this is a subject code, banking, artificial intelligence or whatever. And who is the coordinator? Name of the teacher or name of the coordinator who is coordinating for this particular skill course. And then the phone number is there, duration, and how many students are there. So accordingly, you have to add the information and provide it to CBSE. You have to provide the name of the coordinator. I mean, the teacher who is taking the subject because... Uh, time to time, CBSE organizes certain workshop sessions for the teachers also. So accordingly, your teachers will be trained for these skill-based courses as well, right? So this is how you will be entering the student's registration number, okay? Enter the registration number, click on add new row button to add more records and then save button. So you will be adding the details, right? So once the data will be added, click on the button to see the list of generated. Candidates list will be generated, okay? And uh, you can get the data that will be done, right? So I have already told you that you will be able to generate the certificates also. The certificate is not available for the, if the student has not completed the skill course and the outcome will not be complete, certificate will not be available. So accordingly, you need to upload the data. Wait for further instructions from CBSE, like how you'll be able to generate the certificate for your student. So this is how they will be getting the certificate. This is a sample certificate given below by Ministry of Education, Government of India, signed by Dr. Bishwajit Saha, Training and Skill Education, CBSE, right? for completing a particular skill course. Let our students know more about such courses and let them explore different courses as per their interest. Because we talk about multiple intelligences, we talk about different learning styles, let them opt for various subjects as per their learning styles. So my dear educators, stay tuned to Mentoring the Mentors to wanna know more about such information. I know you are already downloading the articles uh, from CBSE, but I'm sharing for those who are interested, who want to know that. Thank you, all of you. Have a nice day. Stay tuned.